Hi, I'm Eric, Director of Training here at Just Add Power. And in this video, we're looking at how to change the IP address of a Just Add Power switch after you've already installed the system. There are a couple of situations where you might need to change the switch at IP after you've already configured it. Uh, number one, you set up the system at your office. Your office network has a certain scheme, but the job site has a separate network scheme. So you tested it in your office on your network, but you're going to go out to the job site and you don't want to reconfigure the whole system. You just want to change the IP of the switch so it fits on the network at the job site. Uh, second reason is you might have just assigned the wrong IP address to the switch. It might, end, might have ended up in the DHCP range of the router or the router changed and now it's in the DHCP range. We need to get it out of that range. Uh, whatever your reason for needing to change the switch IP, we've got a function in AMP that will do that for you. So the next thing you might be asking yourself is, well, why don't I log into the switch and do it myself? Well, there's a few reasons we would provide this function. Uh, number one is you have to navigate the web interface. And since it's a switch we already support, we can save you some time by just doing that for you. Uh, the second reason is some of the switches we support don't let you change the IP of the switch over the web interface because it breaks your connection to the web interface and they're worried you're going to damage something and lose access. So you cut caught in this like circle. And the third and the most important reason is that when we change the IP address of the switch, we also change a couple of other settings to make the switch configuration and the just add power device configuration compatible with your drivers that we're providing. So the switch IP is not enough to make sure that it's compatible with your drivers. The program is going to change all of the settings to make sure that your control system can just seamlessly switch over to the new switch IP address. So let's look at how we get it done. All right, we'll start by opening up AMP. And we're in a VLAN system, so we select VLAN. And we're going to connect to the system as it is. And we're edit switch IP. To start, we just have to put in the IP address of an active Just Add Power device in the system, either a receiver or a transmitter. This is the IP address of our first receiver in the system. We're going to hit go, and the program is going to identify all of the transmitters, all of the receivers, and the switch IP address in the system. Uh, if you have one switch or multiple switches, it's still going to find all of them. Uh, it's also going to change your network adapter to make sure you can communicate with the switch on the off chance you're not on a compatible network already. The program has identified that the system only has one switch. I've got four receivers and four transmitters configured, and it's giving me the option to change the IP address of the switch. So currently it's at 192.168.0.101. Now in this example, uh, the DHCP range for most routers falls in the 100 to 199 range, so we accidentally put this in the DHCP range. So we're going to change it to get it out of the DHCP range. So we're just changing it to 192.168.0.11. Uh, we've already confirmed that that IP address is open and nothing else sits at that address. We're going to hit Apply Changes. It's going to give us a notification that it is going to do all of this automatically and also warn us that if we have a static route, we have to update that. We'll do that next as well. So we're going to proceed. We're going to save the new switch configuration file because when you originally configured the system, we provided the switch config file for the original system. So we're just providing the updated switch config file for the new IP address. I'm going to save that in my desktop, but you should save it to the place where you save all important files for a project. That is your switch config in case the switch were to die and you needed to get a new one to just upload the config. Uh, switch is going to just reboot. We're going to let it do its thing. We'll come back when it's done. Now that the switch is rebooted, we do want to save the report file for the updated system. Uh, we're going to add the name to it that goes with the project. So project name with new switch IP report. We're going to save it again on my desktop, but in your location for important files for the project. And then we are finished. Uh, test switching isn't going to work right now because we haven't updated the static route in the system. That's where we're going next. So we'll just get AMP closed and we'll see you over there. Uh, so we've logged into our router and we've gone to the static routing page for our router. And you can see down here in the gateway, it's got our old switch IP address at 0.101. So the last thing we have to do to make sure we work on the new switch IP is just change the gateway, which is the switch IP, to the new value. 
we're going to apply and you'll notice that it's changed in our active routes. We are all set. Uh, so we've successfully updated our switch IP address and then we also went into our router and updated the static route with the new IP address. It's important to do the router as well for our control system. Uh, if you have any questions or need any further support, please feel free to contact us and thanks for watching.